Cubic is a 14-year-old company, uh, tubing and based, and we work on cancer as well as infectious diseases on a novel technology called RNA active. So this technology is uh, a new technology to fight um, against these diseases. And in 2006, we were funded by Dietmar Hopp, the founder of SAP Germany. Um, so he was very generous. So he got quite a lot of money to start the clinical trials. So from 2006 uh, until now, uh, we were really developing rapidly into clinical development and also we were building our platforms and expanding our platforms. Uh, so now we are already in clinical trials phase 2B in prostate cancer, we are also advancing lung cancer and we are also working on infectious diseases and the most important thing, we were building a GMP facility. So GMP means clean room facility, so we can have a pharmaceutical production here in CureVac. A couple of years we detected that RNA, once injected in the skin, it's expressing proteins very nicely. So, you know, DNA, RNA, proteins, I think these are the major biotech molecules. So most of the pharmas and biotech companies, they work only on proteins. Some of them, they work on DNA, but only few are working on RNA. And why is it like that? RNA is a messenger. So RNA is transforming the information from the DNA, from the chromosomes, to the proteins. So therefore, RNA is a quite unstable molecule. And here in CureVac we find solutions to stabilize this molecule and to empower the molecule to deliver the information into the patient. By selecting the right information, we encode this information on RNA and then we inject the RNA molecules in the skin of the patients. Skin cells take up RNA and they make the proteins out of it. So we started uh, in oncology um, where we encode antigens which we found on cancer cells like PSA on prostate cancer or uh, Neuric ESO1 is another antigen we found on, uh, on, on lung cancer cells. So we encode these molecules on RNA and then we inject the cancer patients. And the cancer patients, they mount immune responses against these cancers. So we have seen in clinical studies, in a phase 2A study, that the immune responses are there and they are quite strong. So we could detect in the blood of patients that there were immune cells available which are able to kill cancer cells. I'm happy to announce a deal with Böhring Ingelheim. German pharma company. Um, so we're working together and collaborating in the field of non-small cell lung cancer. Uh, this deal uh, brought us upfront payments uh, about 35 million euros and it's also uh, hopefully we get milestone payments uh, uh, about uh, 430 millions in the next years. So we are very happy to have this collaboration because it's speeding up the development uh, in this field. Devin. 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 Devin.